find your sweet redemption I will never let you down Will it ever get sunny? Oh, I want it, honey Baby, how you make me sway You say it will I'm calling your addicted friend You say it will, yeah Alright, what's up everyone? Tonight we are going to get the budget amp installed with stereo So it was maybe a few months ago that I put in the stereo system. It's been working great. Um, it's a stereo on a budget type deal for the Terex. I didn't want to spend a whole lot of money and it's been working great. But I do feel like the rear speakers can use some more power. So we're going to try this $40 or so amp. Um, I'll do a quick review on it now, right after this clip, and uh, show you guys which one I got. But basically we're going to get that installed. If you have not seen um, the video showing how to tear out the dash and the removal of the fenders and all that go ahead and click up in the cards above me here somewhere I don't know one side or the other and uh, I'll have the video there you can click on that check out the dash removal fender removals um, because I'm not going to show that in this video and then also you can also click up there and check out the stereo on a budget install video so check out those we'll jump right into this get this started um, but I'm hoping this amp makes a big difference make sure if you have any comments um, leave those below also the description we've got links in the description on where I got this amp and maybe a few other parts and stuff that I used to get everything wired up and then make sure you hit that like and subscribe button All right, so here's everything out of the box. Um, this is, they call it a Pile Hydra. It's a four channel marine grade amp. It's supposed to be waterproof. Went with it, of course, because your machine can get wet, dusty, plus you pressure wash it, clean it all the time. There's instructions. It actually came with a volume base knob, it looks like, here, which is cool. I didn't know it came with that. It came with the wiring, RCA cables, and some stuff for the speaker wires, so. And then all the rest of the wires are already all connected here with the amp. So I don't know how much of this I'll need, but I'll show you guys as we get this installed. Um, this system, I bought it personally for like 39 something at the time on Amazon, but we'll get the links, like I said, in the description. But for $40, I don't think you can lose, and we'll see how it works out. So first initial thought, looks like pretty good quality. Looks to be about four and a half, five inches across, and about three and a half or so inches this way and the depth looks about an inch, maybe an inch and an eighth. Um, so pretty small. So which is cool. Okay, and also you need to identify these wires. So right here you've got the um, rear line out or sub uh, out. So this is since we're doing rear speakers, um, this is for the rear line or the sub. So I'm going to use this one right here to go into the amp. These are for front speakers if you wanted to go that route. I'm not hooking these smaller speakers up to the amp because they don't need it. Um, it'll be too much amperage. And then here's an AUX out as well. And then the antenna and all that stuff which I don't use. So I'll get this three zip tied. This one's out for now. And that's what we'll be plugging into to hook the amp up. hardest part about putting in an amp is where am I going to put it so I've had a couple options here and I had a really good really good idea um, there is turn that over so there's a lady that follows us by the name of Laura and she actually had a pretty good idea she put 
the amp, actually she strapped it with a zip tie to the inside of the, um, well now I have a speaker pod there, but to the inside of the pod, which it would still work, she drilled two holes, used the zip tie, put it, stuck it right in here so you can see it down in there. Um, and it actually has pretty good room there to fit, so I might even do that, that's not a bad idea. So I'm looking at a couple options, but she came up with that. So I thought I'd let her know that that's a pretty good idea on this video, and I might go with the same route. So I'm gonna look at placement here just to check that out and see. Okay, so I have looked around everywhere for the best possible placement. I wanna be able to get to it um, somewhat easily, so I have decided to actually come up inside here and then it will get a little bit more um, protection because of the shelf and also it will um, shouldn't get too much mud or anything like on it up inside because it's clear to the top but I think I'm going to mount it right inside underneath the fender right here and it should be good <laughs> Okay, so I have the RC cables. Um, I had these sitting up in my cabinet, so they are a little bit long. And I'd rather get some short ones, but honestly, I don't want to buy another set. So I'll wrap these up and I'll probably tuck them down in here, the extra, and they'll be out of the way. So we'll get these put on and it won't be a big deal. You'll just plug them in here to the rears and then the other side go to the amp for the rears and you are good to go. So pretty simple. goes on and off, turns the stereo on, when the stereo turns on, which will turn the amp on. So we'll get that set up now, get that ran through, and then we will uh, test it out. So go from there. ready to go. Um, I need to clean up the wires still and clean up the wires in here. Other than that, I just want to get it on, make sure everything works first, and then I'll clean up all the wires, get them zip tied, won't bore you guys with that. So let's go ahead and click on the rocker switch. And then we're going to go ahead and turn on, let's see, I got to make sure I get the right music so we don't get charged or have an issue or using music that is not approved. Looks like everything's working. Um, yeah, that's about it. I'll just button up everything for you with all that. Alright, that should wrap up the install on the $40 or so amp for the Terex um, budget stereo system. So if you haven't checked out our other videos, make sure you check out the budget uh, stereo install. Also make sure that you check out the dash teardown video. Um, and also check out our rocker switch panels and our speaker panels that we sell to help get all this stuff installed. You can check that out on our website. We also carry throttle max. Um, we also carry R1 Industries lighted whips. Those are awesome. They're going to be coming out with a bunch more new stuff soon. So make sure you be checking our website for that. 
And we also have the mount that we've built for the Terex as well. We also have shirts, hats, all that kind of stuff. So check that out on our website. Um, also check out our other videos on YouTube. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. But until next time, this is Garrett with Deranged Off Road.